Hi, I'm Mariella, and I am a NETC consultant with Incentris. And today we're going to walk through how to remove no, uh, no vendor journals on your AP aging summary. So to begin, we will be taking a look at our AP aging. And you'll see that um, we have a category of no vendor transactions that sit at the very top of your AP aging. And this is due to having something hit your AP account directly with no clearing or payment um, processed. So what you'll, we'll take an example here. We'll see, um, we have a journal for the end of the year um, and that's gonna hit our accounts payable um, and then um, balance out to our prepaid expenses for this example. And we are also reversing this back on one one. So this is an example of something that you're trying to get cleared for year end financials um, that you may or may not have resolved. Um, so you're gonna post it to the, the following financial year. Um, and the reason why it's sitting in this big bucket here of no vendor is because there is no associated transaction or customer um, on this journal. So it'll just sit at the very top of your AP aging. And in order to get that cleared, what we'll need to do is we will create a AP clearing vendor record, so vendor record, um, so that we can go ahead and apply that vendor name to our journals and then clear that out of our AP aging. So the first step you're going to do is create a vendor record, if you don't already have one, called AP clearing vendor, uh, very clearly labeled. And next, you're going to go back to your journals. We're going to click edit here. And we're going to add our AP clearing vendor into our name column. You could also add it here to your prepaid expenses. Um, if you want to designate that um, for this purposes, we're only going to clear it out of our accounts payable. So we'll just leave that on the first line of our initial journal and of our reversing journal. So refresh both of those and you'll see that it automatically applies it to our reversal because it is a, a true copy of our original here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to transactions, payables, pay single vendor, and we're going to manually clear out these journals to each other. So we're going to select our payee, which is our AP clearing vendor account, it will automatically populate the operating account um, subsidiary currency that's associated with this vendor. Um, we do not, we are actually not going to be processing a check or a payment. Um, this is only for the process of clearing this transaction off of our aging. So here I could just say um, clearing a P aging as our check. So we know what we're referencing. And then we will select the two journals that, again, balance out to each other. So there is a $0 value, bill payment, that's the key here. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. And once we do this, and this process, this transaction posts to that vendor account, if I go back to my AP aging and refresh here, We'll see our $100 journals that were dated for 2021 and 2022 are now cleared. Um, and we're left with the balance of our historicals, which is 17 and uh, year 2018. And you can go ahead and do this um, historically back, uh, backwards. So anything that's open, anything that's open to your journal account, uh, any open journal on your aging accounts can be cleared off um, historically. And let us know if you guys have any questions. Um, if this, uh, we will also be posting a blog with a step-by-step -step, uh, process and we'll link it at the bottom here. Thanks guys.